Okay, page 83 and 84, homework help. 43 and 42 were explained in class. I'm not going back over it again. Okay, if you were absent, come see me, but I'm pretty sure you were all there. Number 44. A gain in yardage on the football field is a positive number. A loss is a negative number. Add up the gains and losses to get the answer. Make sure you have a label on your answer. Number 45. In order to qualify for a girls' regional regional 1500 meter race, an athlete's personal best time for the season must be under the qualifying time of 5 minutes 42 seconds. Okay? 5 minutes 42 seconds is the same as 342 seconds. So to qualify for this race, your time must be less than 5 minutes 42 seconds. The way I got 342 here is 5 times 60, 5 minutes is 60 seconds, 5 times 60 is 300 plus the 42 seconds we already had. Seconds we already had. Now, part A says, writing an equation. Write an equation that expresses D as the difference, the difference of the athlete's personal best time, which is T, that's PBT, personal best time, okay, in seconds, and the qualifying time in seconds. So, what you're going to do is you're going to make some kind of an equation. Equation has an equal sign. It's going to have the D in it, your equation. It's going to have the T in it. And it's going to have the qualifying time in seconds. So take those three and make an equation that makes sense and that works for this problem. Okay, so we have to take D, which is the difference um, between the personal best and the qualifying time. We have to take T, which is the, the athlete's personal best time, your best time, and the qualifying time, which is 342 seconds, and make an equation. So I have written four different equations. One of these is the correct one. Four different equations, so let's talk about them. Okay? Well, D plus T equals 342, so that's saying the difference... Plus your personal best time would be 3.42. No. Okay, what about T minus D? Your personal de best time minus the difference equals 3.42. That doesn't make very much sense either. How about the next one, which says T equals D minus 3.42. So your personal best time equals the difference of your time and the qualifying time minus 342. Doesn't make sense. It's this one. Okay? The difference, difference means subtract, see that minus sign, of your personal best and the qualifying time is going to tell you if you qualify or not. If the difference is a negative number, then you're going to qualify because you'll be underneath the qualifying time. If the difference is a positive number, you don't qualify because you're over the qualifying time. So, this is the answer for part A. Okay, part B says making a table. Make a table that gives the values of D for T equals 341.7, 343.8, 340.9, and 342.7. So first, you make a table. They're telling you what T is. You're going to take 341.7 Place it in T spot, do the math, and get an answer here. Then you're going to take 343.8, place it in T spot, do the math, get an answer here, and so on and so forth. Now there's two questions. 
which values of t in the table are under the qualifying time. Okay? So you're going to answer that question. And then the next question is how can you tell the difference? You can look here when you finish and you'll be able to see a way that you can tell which ones are qualifiers. Okay, number 46. <laughs> Read the problem at least three times to make sure you understand what it's talking about. Read, read, read. Here's your hint. Exports minus imports equals either a surplus or a deficit. A surplus is a positive number. A deficit is a negative number. Okay, number 20, 47. Snowboards. Snowboarders can rotate the shoe bindings on their snowboards. The binding setup below is written 24 plus 24 degrees slash minus 18 degrees. This means that the front angle is 24 degrees counterclockwise from vertical and the rear angle is 18 clockwise from vertical. So that angle is 24, that angle is 18. Front angle, rear angle. Okay? This way is positive, this way is negative. Now, part A. An instructor suggests a binding setup of 3015 for beginners. Your setup is initially 24, oh, minus 4. I messed that one up right there. Get that one fixed. Your initial setup was 24 minus 4. Okay? And so the instructor says go ahead and change it to 30 plus 30 plus 15. That needs a degree sign. This is like the change problems that we did. It's got a from and a to. How do I know this is the from? Because it said, this is the initial setup. And now the instructor wants you to change it to this. Okay? So, if I'm going from plus 24 to plus 30, okay, then aren't I going up? Okay, plus 24 to plus 30, isn't that up? Right? Or could I go second thing? minus the first thing, 30 minus 24. So my first change is going to be 6 degrees. Now, the second change has to do with these two over here. So look, I'm going from negative 4 to 15. So I'm going up from negative 4 to 15. So up from 4 to 0 is 4, and 15 is a 19. So, whoops, so that one is 19, okay? So, I could do this with the second one minus the first one too. 15 minus negative 4 would be 19. So for number A, you have two answers. 6 degrees, that's the change from plus 30 to plus 24. And 19 degrees, that's the change from 15 to negative 4. Now, you try number B. Good luck. Number 48. Greenwich Mean Time, also abbreviated as GMT, is the time at the Royal Observatory in Greenwich, Greenwich, yeah, Greenwich England. A location that is plus so many hours from GMT is that many hours ahead of GMT. And a location that is minus so many hours from GMT is that many hours behind GMT, for instance. So basically, let's stop right there and understand it. If it's, let's say it's 4 o'clock here, okay, then it would be 5 o'clock here and 6 o'clock here, and 7 o'clock here, plus 1 hour. And this way it's going backwards. 3 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 1 o'clock. So, 
let's try, um, let's say it's, uh, let's see, 8, 15 here, then that would be 9, 15, whoops, 10, 15, 11, 15, and backwards would be 7, 15, 6, 15, 5, 15. Now, the in-between times, like, you know, right here, for instance, would be halfway in between. So, like, if this was 4 and this was 3, that would be 3.30. If that was 4, that was 5, and in-between time halfway would be 4.30. So, you got to think about that, too. Okay? So, the problem is going to tell you what time it is somewhere over here. Okay? And you have to go back and find out what time it is over here. You kind of might have to draw some diagrams or subtract. Another way to think of it is, let me erase this. Another way to think of it is like, if you've got a time over here that's say, um, plus, whoops, I need to write, plus 6.5 hours, okay? Then zero is back here, and from here to here is 6.5. And then if you're trying to get back here to say, like you're going to go to a time that's negative five hours, then you're headed back here. So they might tell you that right here at the 6.5, it's 3 o'clock. Okay, well, six and a half hours back from 3 o'clock would be what? 2 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 9 o'clock, and a half, so 8.30. So this would be 8.30. Makes sense? If that's 3 o'clock, that's 8.30, because this is six and a half hours away. Then if I wanted to go back another five, I'd keep counting backwards. So I'm at 8.30, I'd go 7.30, 6.30, 5.30, 4.30, 3.30. Okay? So you're going to have to count up and back, and you're going to have to consider things like the 30 minutes. Um, 